Welcome to another episode of Garageaholics E36 N54 Swap. My name is Frank Macaluso and today we are going to be building on the last episode where we got the car started for the first time. Great, great news and today we're going to be stripping away those electronics until we're left with the bare bones amount necessary to get this thing started. I think it's going to be the chaos unit like I had said months ago before I started the swap but we'll see if my theory holds true. Now, all of the schematics, the wiring, the pinout, the, connector, con the connectors, models, different years and models, and the differences between them will all be in my N54 integrators guide, E36 Pacific. That'll be coming out in July for you guys to download. It'll be a lot of good information for you guys to do this autonomously by yourself with no additional help. Hopefully, I've condensed the internet just enough to give you everything that you need in order to do this swap yourself. So stick around and let's see what we can do with this CAS unit. All right, so let's do our baseline run here. Um, I just hooked up the battery, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply power, and then I'm going to apply the ignition to the starter. Battery. And ignition. Gotta press the start button. Activates the rest of the system. Good to know. All right, so now that it's running, now I'm going to start to strip the power away from the A4010 junction fuse box that you see back there. The power is in the grounds that supply to both the CAS unit and the DME. It's been said that this thing needs to supply switched power to the CAS and the DME, and I see through the X6011 port right here that that is provided by the main relay which is located right here. I'm going to um, take those powers and I'm going to just supply power manually to it and I want to see if this thing has anything to do with supplying power to it. And if, it, and if I still get it to work, then we'll be good. So all I did was cut these two puppies and put them on positive power, right? So I'm isolating this as now, I'm trying to isolate this as a power source. So let's, let's apply power to the CAS, just like we did before. Okay, press the button, and then try starting. So there are uh, more powers that I need to disconnect from this junction box um, and hook up directly to power, and those are the three on the left. The one on the right does not get power when switched on. I confirm that these three on the left do get power, uh, 12 volts. So I need to also put 12 volts to this junction as well and uh, try to see what I can do to eliminate this junction box. All right, what I found out is that when I connect powers to the CAS unit just like this by connecting the green and the reds together, basically applying power to both of these puppies, and this, oh, can't see it, this red wire with a black stripe here is then connected to power. Everything kind of wakes up. And then we can try starting it. I think it'll work. Gotta hit the start button. Now try. All right, making progress. All right guys, so what I found here was that we have a red and a green power wire and that comes from the CAS, needs to be powered. I have it hooked up to positive power, but it'll eventually end up getting hooked to uh, accessory power, obviously. Um, every single one of these units is connected to a green with a red stripe. That is called the wake-up wire and it basically turns on all the units when you turn the key into the on position for the older cars, which is what we're gonna do here on the uh, E36. So that's gonna end up getting hooked up to ACC, but for now we're just gonna hook it up to positive battery. It needs a 12 volt wake up signal to activate all of these items. I am further isolating this junction box by turning everything to 12 volts uh, manually. So this is the DME wake up wire. And if I were to connect this up to this little junction here, that's, that's jumper to positive 12 volts, everything wakes up. 
Now I'm going to end up, I can't, since I don't have enough hands, I'm going to uh, set the phone down and I'm going to start the car again, again, further isolating this junction box. All right, so let's get this thing started one more time. Let's hook up the wake up wire to positive 12 volts. Push the button and let's try starting it. And it runs until I remove power to the wake up wire like this. Stalls it out. That's how I shut it down. So let's continue to, to keep on plotting through here. So at this point, the only thing left that's connecting this junction box to the rest of the car is, I mean, ground. We've got grounds. Yeah, right. So grounds, this guy goes, this guy's going to the OBD port, which, you know, obviously I don't need that right now. Um, this is the ground wire that's going to the car, and this is the ground wire that's going to the cast unit. So yeah, I mean the cast needs to be grounded, so I'm gonna manually ground that to chassis, so that's gonna eliminate that. And then I got two more wires here, which I'm gonna need to play with uh, individually. Um, one is, actually they're both gray with, red with a gray stripe, but I'm actually just gonna disconnect these and give it another start. Actually, that was one wire, that red with a gray stripe, that was actually looped around, so it was just the one wire, but I did cut it, and let's see if it starts again. Power to wake up and start. Press the damn button, Frank. Power to wake up. Ignition. Remove wake up wire. Okay. Now all we have left is to remove the grounds to the junction box and then we can kind of collect and see where we are from there. So now I've disconnected the grounds, I've disconnected the power to the junction box and I've also relocated the ground from the cast unit back to the chassis. Now the chassis is completely isolated from this junction box and now we can try our final start. Let me prove to you that that junction box is finally out of the picture. Now let's do our final start of the video, solely on Cass. Wake up wire. Start button. Start. There you go guys. A completely self-sufficient N54 running in this E36 M3. Thanks a lot guys for watching. Really appreciate all your support. And hey, next month in July, I will be issuing an N54 integrator's guide specific to the E36. Stand by for that. I'll have pinouts, wiring schematics, connectors, everything that you need to know in order to do this. And these cast units are coming pretty cheap on eBay. You can also have it flashed by Castle, Castle Performance. Castle's really good at doing all the flashing. They'll, they'll do tunes for you. They'll get rid of EWS. That is exactly what I plan to do to make this a really slick setup. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and have a great day.